Uh, Violette Jean-Pierre, I think we can say we've just seen one of the gems, the true gems of the balance sheet repertory. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so tell me about your involvement with the ballet. I know you were in the original cast, yes. and you danced it when? Later? Later, I don't even remember at what time, but it was the early 70s. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like I danced it with Violet, only Violet. Yes, no, I know. Uh, that's why we got you two together. Yes, no, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And it's, it's just wonderful to, to work with Violet because she, you know, knew the ballet so well. It was done for her, and also, there's a freedom that she takes sometimes with the, the phrasing. I love the way Violet phrase, like nobody else. Yes, I agree. And that's what makes it so exciting. And as a partner also, you want also that, you want, that gives you a response to it. You don't do always the same thing. You know, you have to be really ready on guard, you know, in I'm case sure, something is because happening. because she's taking chances, right? Yes, and exactly. And you have to kind exactly, of yeah. follow. Exactly, and so you, you also feel that you have also the, the, you really want to do also yourself. That, that same type of work, yes. same type of listening to the music, being inspired by listening and enjoying. And you know, the closer you come to, to uh, the music, the closer you come to Balanchine and that, and yes. it's just wonderful. He's such a great partner too. Mm -hmm. And he understands the same thing. You know? yeah. so, yes. uh, so there's no question that we can take some chances and mm -hmm. we meet. <laughs> well, you certainly do. <laughs> well, you were quoted in some interviews saying uh, if Balanchine explores the music with you, it opens a door. Right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was wonderfully put. Yeah, it, and you never forget. I mean, you, it's something, it's amazing how things stay in your mind. Eh? There's things that I remember I will never forget, you know, it's just yeah. right there. Yeah. And also, when I remember working on some ballets after years and years, and then I could always remember if I would put the music on, and then steps would yes. remember it. And if it was a different choreographer, it wouldn't be as, as easy because it that's was not right. as logical somehow. There was a sort of logic. I don't know what that means exactly, but there was a logic to the steps, oh. the connection with the music. Dancers do say that. So, yeah. I mean, many dancers say that. <coughs> so it, there is a logic to everybody. Right. To everybody's view of balance. I, I used to say he, he was the, the best solution <laughs> for what you hear. So what right. you have to do right. is the best solution that's from what you hear. So that's what he did completely. Yeah, and now tell me how this ballet came about. How did you hear about it? Uh, when did you know it was going to happen? Well, um, you know, as a matter of course, for the season, you know how Mr. B was so serious and modest about himself, his work, and uh, but he was very concerned about his dancers and using them and making sure that he could do you know, on time what he wanted to do. So we all got drawn into it in a very natural way and we started and I loved it from the start because I've always loved singing yes. and I've always wanted as a dancer, thank you for the compliment about the musicality, but I, we could, I could never be able to do what great singers can do of retard and you know, pianissimo and all those things. But this, the line of the music and the singing to navigate that, those lines was so extraordinary from the start. And also the different kind of voices we all had to dance to, which gave us a different tone, behavior, um, emotion, and feeling. Well, talk so. about, that's interesting you say navigate. I mean, what do you mean by navigate uh, <laughs> you with ride the voices? Like a dolphin, you sort uh -huh. of ride the waves of the singing married to the music because in this case it's piano, but for hands, so it's, you know, how could you say, uh, it has enough density. But the voice going on top of that, it's like two different roads mm -hmm. that you work on. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Brahms also made a, 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 a score with no singing. He made a piano piano score of this. Right, yes, and that's true. And obviously Balanchine right. chose yeah. the voices for yes. a reason. Mm -hmm. It's also interesting that um, in the original score, it said it, it, the number of voices was not specified. So I've actually heard it with choirs, yes, choruses. Oh, yeah. oh yes. yes, I, I have Isn't two. That amazing? I have two with chorus. Yes. Yeah. Yes, have you? No, I didn't no. Know. <coughs> it's didn't know. Uh, quite beautiful also. Yeah. Wonderful also with chorus. Yeah, yeah. It really but is. it's certainly different. So yes, Balanchine very. must have wanted that intimate yes, feeling. That's it. I mean, he that's obviously it. chose that version, yes. not yes. the piano yes. alone. It's a ballet of many moods uh, and
and I wondered how Balanchine uh, conveyed the passion, the drama in rehearsals or while he was choreographing. It was all there in the gestures, in the choreography, in the moments of rest, in the absence of certain steps, uh -huh. in the absence of movement, and we were never out of the bath, if I could say such a thing, the <laughs> musical bath, because even when we waited for our time to dance, we were listening to the music and watching the others and receiving from watching all that uh, our own road orders for our different script. We were constantly in the marinade mm -hmm. of it. So we were steeped into it. And who, who are you in this ballet? I'll ask Jean-Pierre first. Uh, you know, I don't really know, but what I can tell you is that at one point uh, in the early 70s, then again, there was a, a premiere, and then at the end of the show, we went all upstairs in the studio, and there was a little party. And Balanchine did the waltz, started to waltz. Oh. And I forget, it was amazing. Oh, and yeah. why, I don't know, maybe Gordon was at the piano starting, yes. and he took a dance and started to waltz. And when, I, so, uh, who am I in that? I'm not Balanchine, but um, uh, the idea of the elegance of Balanchine. You know? oh, yes. And that's what was so, so, so the way he would carry himself and the, 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 yeah, the elegance is really something that, uh, that I remember. So that's what I, that's what I remember the best. That's, I've never seen somebody do a waltz like that. Oh, I bet. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. you know that wonderful training of his, I mean, you know, even the, the, the courtesy of Mr. Balanchine, which is famous, the way he bowed and the way he listened, because he was not a man of words, but he could have when he had to, he, he did it. But the courtesy that he demonstrated, the politeness, the respect, you know, it was, it was all there. It was a time of manners, it was a time of things that are getting lost. And the courtship, courtship is maybe one of the, not extinct, but one of the dinosaurs, <laughs> if they're extinct, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> courtship, my God. Yeah. I have a memory about something like that also, it reminds me. I was in the street with Pat, and we were walking together, and I was taking her arm. And then we meet Balanchine, and he passes in the street, that's all. And then the next day he said, you know, you don't take her arm, you offer your arm. <laughs> you know, this is with your wife, was, yes, he's telling you yes. how to. You know, but he was right, I mean, he was right, that, that was, yeah. that's the way you should. Yeah. I just beautiful. loved it. I mean, I know. You know, it's the before that's important. Mm -hmm. that's it's right. the smell of that's the right. coffee before you drink it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually better usually the than the coffee it, when the you drink it, it the yeah. smell it, but it's the time that you have to spend wooing, exchanging, building, and uh, the aspiration time. Mm. It's a reminder of the hopes and aspiration of the human beings trying to have a relation that is of a certain as Jean-Pierre said, elegance, respect, courtesy, and happiness, the search of happiness going about it the right way. Now, I understand from interviews that perhaps Balanchine wasn't totally satisfied with your waltzing at the very beginning. No, he, he thought that none of us was really good enough waltzers, and he really had somebody showing us. He hired somebody, actually. Oh, you're kidding. Yes, yeah, somebody came. Not himself? Uh, he well, wasn't, himself, he wasn't of course, good enough. No. But he did <laughs> hire somebody, and we had a few lessons. As far as I remember, it was for Libas leader, because yeah. he really felt that we were a bit clumsy, and the girls were doing balances, really, and nobody right. dared to put a leg between the partner's leg. And for certain things, you have to. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is, you know? And so he felt that we needed to learn, and why not? So he did. He asked somebody. Well, did he think you were, for instance, too bouncy? Too bouncy. You're not and enough right. glide. Of course, some of the waltzes are supposed to be a little bit bouncy. But yes, some yeah. of them. No, but of I course, mean, there's yeah. all sorts of different uh, yeah, right. ones that are. But he felt that we were, not, we were not on top of it. We were not relaxed. Mm -hmm. And the role of the man had to be defined a little bit more also as driving so that the women wouldn't take the law in their hands and drive instead of the man, <laughs> you know, so. Well, you actually hinted at that today and I wondered if you thought that the, that the man was the commander. 
I always enjoy, if possible, that the men would do that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not against taking decisions if he's not going to come through. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in a certain way. And in some of the dancers, um, actually, the woman, by her refusal to be uh, even admired or loved, or uh, you know, uh, is expressing that sometimes also. Right. She doesn't want to be dominated. She doesn't want to be given orders. Mm. And she's questioning. Well, maybe that's why There's, she takes chances and the guy yes. has to catch up. I think we have a little example oh, yeah, exactly. of that in oh, different of the roles. Many times, many times it's a, oh, yes. a male dancer leading and, 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 and many times it's the female leading. Yes. And, and you see, and also it gives you a dialogue Th when yes. you do that, you know, because well, you cannot be the one constantly driving the whole thing. And I have some wonderful memories with Violet, which she is definitely taking over. <laughs> and it's wonderful. And it's done, it's done in, a, in a way because she has an idea behind it and that drives this idea. I was also interested in your saying that um, several, in several instances, don't prepare. You know, it sort of happens to you. It's a bit unexpected. Oh, yes, you mean did, uh, yes, today. Uh, today. today. Yes, because um, that's another thing, to keep the freshness and uh, you know, so that it's new, every yes. performance, and that uh, that it is natural to go back to a natural thing. You have to almost clear any preconceived yes. or pre too prepared thing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because one wants to be able to have almost a surprise or a sort of awe of something that happens, so that there's a freshness. Yes. That's the best. The performances. Yeah. Right. It's almost like the difference between rehearsing on the same tempo with a recording and then having a pianist playing yeah. it for that. That's I, right. I know, that, yeah. Yeah, that taped music is uh, yeah. uh, it's kind dangerous of deadening. Yeah, yes. it's really not very good for dancers yeah. because they expect a certain tempo, they don't even listen to the music anymore. Yeah. You know exactly what to expect. And, and life is like that. It should be surprised. It should be surprised. It's really dangerous. And Absolutely. Surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing I, I noticed today, which I really had, I've seen the ballet many times, but so much off-balance movement for mm. the woman. Mm. It was clearer, obviously, I guess, without the costumes, or else maybe I just had somehow not noticed it, or Jenny did it so daringly. Yes. Some of that yes. stuff yes. is yes. really yes. dangerous, and as yes. you said, scary. And also, um, Mr. B, uh, in a way, if woman is going to be fragile somewhere, she might be literally overwhelmed by her emotion, and then <laughs> the man has to understand and help her and not take her away from her emotion, but just accompany her in them. Uh. And also, there's also, uh, it's a tempting thing to say, oh, uh, I'm too weak, please help. <laughs> it's an ador adorable way of saying, come closer. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, it can be legal and it can be a little <laughs> less justified. <laughs> Don't you think? Completely. It's yeah, part of right. the seduction. Right. Nobody said where it stops. Seduction yes. is a <laughs> tremendously large subject. Well, in the first half, we I think everyone c considers it a sort of more social yes. than the second. Um, and uh, you have mentioned at, s at some point that a lot of the gestures are sort of, well, people in that time couldn't express themselves completely and fully and obviously. And I think so, don't you? Yeah, sure, yeah. There was a certain rule of etiquette in society where you did not go beyond a certain right. expression of There's your feelings. There's a distance between two parties. Distance, also. and that is in the ballet. In the ballet, and also um, among the aristocrats of Europe in those days, expressing feeling too much was considered a no-no because yeah. you did not. You had to have that reserve and that distance and then the whole society was affected by those things for a lot of other reasons too. You did not sell yourself, you did not sell your emotions. Mm -hmm. You had to be reserved and so it's, it's a code that he has employed but in the same time he has gone through all, all that was needed really. We get everything we could imagine and more. Well, talk a, talk a bit about his use of gesture. Yeah, I no, mean, it's it. not pantomime, for example. No. Nothing like that. That's it. No. That is a very good yeah. point, by the but way. But there's, there's a way of the, with the wrist, for example, that's very yes. important in this piece. Yes. 
you know, the way to hold the way of, the, to hold a partner, you don't hold a partner no. like that. You know, you yes, hold a partner like, and finger yes. there. Yes. All, just that is yes. already a, such a, a signature also yeah. in yes. this attack. The distance, the respect, the delicacy. Yeah. And if relationship has to exist, it has to be in really um, high terms, elevated terms, mm -hmm. an expression of respect and worship, practically. Right. Yes. A form of worship. Right. A form of worship of, and a form of celebration, but respect of the male and the female condition, getting mm -hmm. together, what happens when they get together. Right. The code, there's a code to be respected. Right. There's a reservation. Uh, yes. People are reserved. For example, if you have an, an emotion toward your partner, you're not going to use your shoulder that you would do in another ballet. You still show the full emotion, but it's just still there. Absolutely. You know? and that's also very important. Yes. Now you said in the second part, which is more dramatic, I would say, darker. More dramatic and more transcendent mm -hmm. in the sense of it's less social. And because we speak ballet, yes, purely ballet, and the toe shoes and the men partnering the girls yeah. on point also, right. then we even go higher in like another form of achievement mm -hmm. and distance also. Right. There's not the same boundaries. No. No. You don't feel the boundaries of the set. Yes. You know, it's all open. You can imagine you are you're outdoor. Yes. You know, so it gives that that yes. air, that different air. Yeah. yeah. And the return to the ballet language purely also, uh, the, the, which is then the other way of talking about the relationships yes. even differently. But you said in that part you feel that you're turning into creatures. Yes, Perhaps more rather than flesh because and blood. are less human beings and more yes. creatures and definable creatures. I mean, yes. not undefinable, but a little bit more transcendent. Yes, and that there's the air of magic. Yeah, yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. You can imagine the sky. You can imagine the universe. Yeah. And all that, yeah. That's no, another. That's another chapter that uh, that is wonderful. The two chapters are fabulous because he was equally uh, rich of ideas in both modes yes. to, to, to express the difference. He was also so inspired in right. one and the other. Right. Let's talk just a little bit about the costumes, um, beautiful, the beautiful gowns in oh, the first half. For the room, and the great. Cool. <laughs> exactly, well tell me how this affects oh. your dancing oh. and the partnering, surely. That skirt gloves, has to be also, dealt with. The and the gloves, ah, also. Yes, dancing the gloves. with gloves. Yeah. That's really something that we don't do very it. often. And yes. it's very awkward to, at yes. the beginning. Is it? To yes. dance with gloves. Yeah. It's very, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It's very elegant, but you, you're not used to it. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yes. And that's what it yes. is. If we will still wear hats in the streets and, and gloves and cane or whatever, that would be okay. But we don't do that anymore. So it's yes. hard to suddenly dance with these gloves, those white gloves and all of that. But I think it's a way to show, to show again the wrist and the fingers and the, yes. there's a presentation that's really very different because you have gloves also. Mm -hmm. and, and for you? It, oh, extraordinary because naturally, it's gorgeous. Uh, which yes. girl is not impressed to know that she's going to look pretty with that dress and everything? I mean, it's impressive. It's extraordinary. Yes. And also, um, it removes the familiarity of certain things like being a coquette mm. or flirting or being uh, and that sort of unfairness of behavior that comes in between people. No way, you behave well yeah. and you don't take it for granted and it doesn't get cheap. Yes. Because nothing that you have on you is cheap. No. You don't feel cheap and it's all very valuable and important. But this must make a certain um, challenge, shall we say, in partnering. Yes, but you know, it's just, uh, it's just important that, you, that it, fits with, it fits with the steps also, you know. Sure. You know that you can make also this dress move yourself by the way you partner. You, you, uh, well, partner. that's the kind you know. of thing I meant. Yes, yes. right. No, you know that if that dress is not going to move because you don't know how to move it, also for the female or for the male, then it's not working also. That, sure. that dress has to be moving. There yes. needs to be a movement. It's part of the walls, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Jean-Pierre, as you know, enjoys women <laughs> and really, really respects them, wants to make them look good, 
and does as a great partner that he is, also has a real feeling of what women needs mm. and wants to look good and to be on balance and to maybe, you. you know, to, like a precious object. Mm -hmm. He Thank carries you. us like very yes. precious Thank objects. You. You're beginning to blush. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about what to me is almost the most exciting moment in the ballet, and that is the, the, those two embraces that you do in the second part. The timing, no, the yes. sort of almost whiplash timing. Yes. How do you do it? Oh, by trying my best. Well, <laughs> no, but really. it's the most amazing effect, it and is. to be very honest, I've never seen anyone else do it quite oh. that fast. No, no, well, really. I, well, that, I mean, they do it beautifully, but you had a special... Well, and that's because I... You're one I, place, and then you're instantly another place. Because I just love place. music so much, I guess, and right. I, yeah. I, I felt I was maybe ready to take a chance and make myself late, and I would still make it. And, of course, with Jean-Pierre, mm. I knew that he would also right. help me finish on time. Yeah. He was with me completely. Yes. Yeah. You see, yeah. so oh, I'm sure, I could take a chance. Right. That's mm -hmm. where we said that we take some chance. We cannot organize everything and predict and succeed. Mm -hmm. But you, you must take that chance. Mm -hmm. And usually it works. Mm -hmm. If you don't take that chance, nothing happens. Well, then you won't get That's there. That's right, obviously. exactly. So you have to take that chance, and then usually it, it does work. Yeah. Right. It's uh, being literally at the last minute. Oh, to, I can to see. Yes. It. You have to yes. be at the last minute. Yeah. I should say last second. Yes, definitely. Last <laughs> really second. second. Yeah. I had one other comment. And that was when he's carrying her and she's doing the assemblé and you said bend your knees just a little. It makes the, thi makes the feet look like they're going further. Yeah, that's it, that's it. You, you literally have that in Gisalti. Oh, you certainly do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's there. And I thought, is that to do with it, Giselle? Let's use it. Did Balanchine actually coach uh, the ballet when you were in it? Yes. He did? Oh, yeah. He was there in rehearsal. I wonder if he thought it was oh, yeah. special also. You undoubtedly thought something special oh, yeah. was going on oh. from the beginning. Oh, yeah. from the beginning. And I'll tell you a very funny story, very quick, just to illustrate. I wear contact lenses, and I'm extremely nearsighted. And I went to my first rehearsal very nearsighted, and absolutely not seeing anything and concentrating on this and fulfilled with all that. <laughs> and I got my new contact lenses and I was reading everything in the street I didn't want to see. And I realized that it was disturbing me in rehearsals to be attracted to outside things because I could see for the first time. <laughs> So I removed my lenses a little I, bit for I a while, and then I went back to them because I needed it for different reasons, and I finally got used to them. But this is what the ballet did to me. I wanted to stay mm. in a more internal, internal world, yes. yeah. which was a more private, yes. right. more discreet, right. and deeper, and I was completely satisfied with it. Right. I didn't want to come out and true. see. Ah, yeah, 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 around, right. you know. I can see that. It's true that it we, funny. there's nobody around. There's no audience. No. Yeah, there's yeah. no other people. Yeah. Even the musician, just the sound and all of that. Yes. Uh, the singers also, you're completely into yes. your, your walls also. But I think it's to the force also, oh. This, oh. this piece. You know, those, those steps are so simple. It's not using oh. an enormous vocabulary. It's very simp simple. But also, I mean, what he does with each little waltz is just it's a gem. It's just a gem. And it's so beautiful. So to see that, to just to, I remember learning the piece, and I said, that's just a waltz, but everybody will stop there and then suddenly find this other way. <laughs> and it goes in and out, know. and it turns, and it, I mean, it's just wonderful. I thought, speaking of being inward, I thought Jenny did a fantastic job because oh, yeah. she doesn't even have the footlights or anything. No, she no, no, was no, no. so expressive Absolutely. with people right there Absolutely. and no costume and all that. She oh, really was into it. It's not a presentation for the audience. It's not yes. that. And no. usually ballet is that. Yes. And then, yes. yeah. Like so many of his works, they are made for themselves and for the dancers. He was true to the subject and the executant. Absolutely true to them. He never thought, oh, I'll, he never departs from his line also, never departed, never used external things that were not needed, never. Effects, what is that? No effects, except no. the right effect that comes well, from tone, what was done. The tone, That's I think, it. is, is yeah. somehow set. From the inside. Also, right. what you said today uh, in, uh, with Jenny a couple of times, just the essentials of the movement. Yes, exactly. No flourishes, no, no extra. No. no. 
Right, and, and to remove anything yeah. that is not needed. It's yeah. too easy to sort of yeah, do yeah, this yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. Right. It's harder right. to, to have the pure. Right. Oh, yes, and it is. It's much harder. But with you yeah. coaching, it's, uh, right. it comes off very well, and <laughs> right. you too. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.